intersection of three planes in a line. For what value of k will the following set of planes intersect in a line? So the three plane equations are given to us x minus 2y minus z equals to 0, x plus 9y minus 5z equals to 0, and kx minus y plus z equals to 0. Well, for the three planes to intersect, for example, we can have planes like this, right? This, this is one plane, and then right in that case the intersection will be this line of intersection so two planes intersect in a line and the third plane if the third plane also intersects along the same line right so something like this so this is the scenario for what value of k will this happen? And that is that is the question for us, correct? Now, for this to happen, that means all the three uh, scalar triple products should be zero. That is what we learned, right? So, so let's say the normal. This is this is and this is our plane one, and this is our plane two, and this is plane three, right? With normals n one, n two, and n three, right? So what are the normals here? So the normal n1 is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1. n2 is 1, 9, n minus 5. And n3 is k minus 1, n1, correct? For this condition to happen, the scalar triple product should be 0. And that is what we will take advantage of to figure out the value of k which will make this possible. Is that okay? So what we're trying to find is n1 dot n2 cross n3 and this is called scalar triple product that should be zero. So so one condition is that the normal should be coplanar for this because this line is common to all that means normals should be coplanar right so if normals are coplanar because this line is contained in all the three planes right only then this can happen so so for normals to be coplanar think like this that if you have one normal like like here right and the other normal let's say other normal like this right so the third if you do cross product of these two normals if you do cross product of these two normals, then you get a normal coming out of it or like getting into it. So let me just put a cross here thinking that this goes in, right? The cross product, let's say we move like this, is going in, right? So the, And the dot product with the third, what I'm trying to say here is that my third plane, which is here, right? If this third plane is on the same page, then that cross product will also be perpendicular to this and therefore dot with that will be zero. Do you understand? So that is how that is how we can represent and think about it. So if it is zero, only then we'll have one common line between all the three planes, right? So let's figure out this value of k by doing scalar triple product. This is called scalar triple product. Okay, so n1 is 1, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 9, minus 5, and we have k minus 1, 1, correct? So we do 1, and then we get 9, minus 5, minus, and minus 2 makes it plus, 1, minus, makes it plus, 5k plus O minus 1 will make it minus 1 time let me write y minus 1 and this is minus k 9k so minus 9k so we get this equals to 
5 and 9 minus 5 is 4 and this is like plus 2 plus 10k minus of minus will make it plus 1 and minus with plus 9k and this should be equal to 0 right so 0 equals to this for for these planes to intersect in a line right so let now let's solve for it so we get 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 right so we get 7 and 10 plus 9 is 19k and from here k equals to minus 7 over 19 so that is the value of k which will satisfy this condition and therefore k should be minus 7 over 19 for these three planes to intersect in a line as shown do you understand so that's what we are going to do okay and as an exercise which I'll, I'm going to leave for you is for you to figure out line of intersection so you find the equation of line of intersection okay you can use k as minus 7 over 19 here and then figure it out right so it will be better if you could multiply everything by 19 and avoid the fraction and then you can find the solution okay so so that's that's about this i hope you appreciate and you understand the concept so very good thinking problem thanks